Good morning and good day, everyone. Welcome back to Mental Health in the Workplace. My name is Genesis, and I serve the Colfon family right here in Cebu, Philippines. As we keep on hearing news about the borders being closed, curfews being imposed, people being affected by this pandemic, and the number of positive cases increasing each day, it is inevitable that we would get worried, we would feel afraid, we would lose our focus, and all these conditions filled with a lot of uncertainties could lead us to experience anxiety. What we are experiencing may be termed as productive anxiety. It is because we are still able to perform our responsibilities and our duties at work while not ignoring the fact that we get to also experience discomfort from time to time. Today, I will be sharing to you three important tips on how we could be able to also maintain attention and focus while we are at work. Number one is that we could perform grounding. When we speak of grounding, it means that we are labeling our thoughts and we are also identifying what we feel. Now, when we get to hear the news, we have the tendency to be overwhelmed and be preoccupied about how we feel and how are our thoughts affecting us. It's as if our minds would go anywhere and it's as if it's floating because it has lost contact with the ground. Now, with grounding, what we can do is that we could label our thoughts if it's part of overthinking if it's irrational or rational and we could also be identifying how we feel and it maintains our objectivity on how we could address our concerns at the present moment and that is how basically we can do grounding second tip is that we could communicate how we feel now, you might be telling me, Genesis, I keep on doing mindfulness activities. I keep on doing breathing exercises. But why is it that they are not working? Why is it that um, I'm still experiencing discomfort? Now, all these why questions fall under the why insights. When we are doing mindfulness activities, we are not to judge, we are not to analyze, we are not to compute. We are just there trying to also invite ourselves to focus on our body and our thoughts now if by chance that what we feel is too overwhelming for us we could basically communicate how we feel to our colleagues we could eventually um, communicate how we feel to our parents or our family members now we are trying to also transform the why insights into a relational kind of entity and sometimes what we need is basically a validation that what we are experiencing may be the same with the other person and who knows we might actually be when we get to also share what we feel then we get to also hear what other people are feeling and we could be on the same boat and they could even enlighten us if what we feel is normal in this kind of abnormal situation. The third tip that I'm gonna be sharing to you right now is a concept from one of the famous psychologists here in the country. He is Father Bulatao. Father Bulatao shared a stop activity that what we can perform in order for us to maintain focus and objectivity while we are at work. By saying that we are to perform a stop activity, it is an acronym which we need to also perform in a procedural manner. Letter S stands for stop. It means that we need to stop whatever we are doing so when we are about to go to work, we need to take a pause and sit down for a while. If we are about to go to the grocery, 
we can stand in a corner and literally stop whatever we are doing if we are also experiencing uncomfortable feelings letter t it stands for take transitional breaths it means that we could take three to five deep breaths letter o it stands for observe so try to observe your thoughts try to observe what you feel and try to also observe what is happening in your environment letter p stands for proceed so after doing that observe procedure you can now proceed with whatever you are about to do you may begin to open your laptop as you are about to work or you may also proceed to go to sleep as you are about to also um, rest as with the researches that have been conduct conducted in the past they have found out that all these individuals who have been performing mindfulness activities are basically growing their brains um, we have this concept of neuroplasticity it means that our brains are capable of coping and adjusting and the brains of those who perform mindfulness activities have been found to have enhanced social and interpersonal relationships and improved in academic performances and are also better with decision making and are effective in their roles as leaders so as i also begin to um, summarize uh, things that i have shared with you number one is that we can perform centering or grounding meaning to say we are to label our thoughts and our feelings Second is we can communicate how we feel to other people and we would no longer fall under the why insights. We begin to form relationship with other people when we communicate how we feel. And third is to perform a stop activity, meaning we have to stop whatever we are doing, take transitional breaths, observe our thoughts and how we feel and our environment and we can now proceed to whatever we are doing and that will be all for now um, take some time to also check our uh, fb page ws chaplains and keep it uh, with us every 9 a.m and 9 p.m as we would also be sharing to you some informative tips on how to also um, maintain our uh, mental health in the workplace. Thank you and have a good day.